how I look at it is yeah, holding yourself accountable and um, doing the little things behind the scenes right rather than all the stuff on the field and we talked about it last year Graham Aldridge was a big influence in the way that I sort of went about my stuff was take the little things off and all the other on-field skill stuff will take care of itself so yeah just being honest with yourself and your teammates and in terms of getting the extra work done behind the scenes I'm not a guy that sort of speaks out and says a hell of a lot or offers too much I sort of one who takes it on board and more of an action action leader guy but you're looking at someone like Jeet, he doesn't tell you what to do, but he's, he sort of offers up a let's do this for, for example, on your game, and then sort of work towards what the end goal might look like going into the game and try to execute into the game. So he's quite open conversation-wise, he's, he's real good. Kane, when he comes back and plays, is obviously inspiration for, for most, most people, so. I liked Anton Devsic quite a bit, and yeah, just between those three guys, I guess, the difference in how they sort of went about their, their leadership. So, uh, yeah. With Jeet, he's been captain for me the last two years. My game was, my training side of things was more get in the nets and bat for not very long and just sort of get out of there and think it was all right. But he sort of added a little bit more match awareness and, and developing my focus on, on things in training has definitely been a big help. Just lead the way you want to lead, I guess, and I guess everyone has their own style, but yeah, just have your own style. And sort of that thing I was talking about with Devi and, and Jerry, they're, they're completely different, but it's the way they are and they've just stuck to it and it, everyone agrees with it at the moment. So that was my deep dive into leadership. Hopefully you enjoyed.